Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today, uh, I do apologize, I do have a cold, so I'm probably going to sound terrible in this video, but uh, I hope you can uh, deal with it. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a Enderman farm uh, in uh, Minecraft. You can do this in survival, um, it's not too hard, so let's get right into the uh, Enderman farm build. First off, what you want to do, uh, what you're going to want to do is build down to level 1, Y level 1 in the end of course. So I'm going to do that. Okay, actually we're at minus, so you want to go to block one right here. And this, see that's block three. We want to go right to block one, which is right here. So now that we're at block one, we're going to want to bridge out at least 128 blocks, I'm pretty sure it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge up or bridge out at least 128 blocks. So I'll see you when we're done with that. Okay, so we've probably bridged out about 200 blocks now easily enough so what you're going to first want to do is make a platform on the bottom it doesn't really matter how big it is it can be quite small if you want it to but it has to be at least i'm pretty sure it's nine by nine so that's what we're going to be doing so it starts here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you just want to go back to and attach it actually hang on i think i did this wrong uh i think i did this wrong let me redo this okay so here we go i definitely did make it a bit too big but i just made a mistake at the start so first off what you're going to want to do you can make it bigger if you want other stuff on here first off what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a three by three area for the endermen to come in so one two three one two three one two three one two three so if you want you can do um just go up by i think it's three layers go up uh, and then you can break the bottom ones just like this after I finish this I'll show you what to do next So then you can break these ones because endermen are three blocks tall um, So we're gonna break all of these blocks here um, Now that we've done that you can basically put trapdoors right under where you've done it You can use slabs or you can use carpet. I'm using trapdoors. It's a lot easier uh, It doesn't really matter though. You can use whatever and you're gonna want to build this up around 15 blocks so there'll be like one here if you have a good sword so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen about seventeen blocks plus the three down there so i'm gonna build this up and i'll see you when i'm done okay so here we're done with this it's about 17 plus the three blocks high uh, i actually built this a little bit off you're going to want to build it just underneath now you're going to want to build a platform above here you are going to want to build um just water around here so endermen don't spawn on here or you can always just make these leaves which i'm going to do right now Okay, so we are finished. Uh, you don't need to do this because they can just spawn in here. But uh, I did forget to make the sleeves. Or you can light it up. I just like the natural lighting of the end. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go up here. Don't build this out of, um, out of leaves just because you want them to spawn this time. So you want to build it around a 9x9. Nine nine. So we're going to go out 9, I think. About that wide, I think it is. And then we're going to go this way. About that much and then this way about that much you can make it a lot wider but I'm just gonna do it a little bit um, like not as wide this time just to make it a little bit easier if you want for the towering up I will actually turn this music down it's really getting loud if you do want you can um you can make these parts right here shall turn it on a little bit you can paint these parts here out with holes to save materials. If you don't care about that, you don't need to, but it is, you can do it if you want to. So we're gonna finish this off right here. So just finish off uh, this part right here. 
Shouldn't take too long. I'll cut to when I'm finished. Okay, so we're about to be done here. Um, I did take a little bit longer than I thought, but in survival, of course, it will take longer. I do have one of these in my survival world. It is extremely efficient. So after you've done all of this, it's nearly done, but what you want to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what you do want to do is make sure that they can't teleport. I'm just going to get rid of these guys because they were here before. They didn't, of course, spawn here because... They, uh, they can't spawn on glass either, so if you want to make it glass, you can. But, yeah, it's up to you, so we're going to get rid of these guys. Okay, they're gone. So basically, after you've done this, you're basically going to be done. You can use trapdoors. So, what we're going to do now is, see, as you can see, they are spawning a lot, a lot, a lot up here. So, this is exactly what we're going to see, but we are going to put it to peaceful until we can um, just do the rest of it, because otherwise they're not going to walk in, of course. So, what you're going to want to do is go up, not too high, but not too low. You're going to want to build up about three, four, just about that high. Um, you're going to want to build a thing right here, and you're going to want, uh, an, like, basically, endermen do not like endermite, uh, so, oh, I didn't mean to do that, my fault, my fault. So, as you want to do four blocks high, bridge off two, so it's right in the center, get rid of the other blocks, get a rail, just like this, get ender pearls, it's not 100% how many you're going to need, but yeah, uh, it's pretty random, but we'll see. You're going to need a mine cart, and you're basically done. So you're going to want to put a rail here. Make sure you build around the rail thing, the cart, just to make sure the endermite can't get out. So we're going to do this. I'm going to build it one out just to be safe. And now you're going to want to throw pearls until you can endermite. We're going to do this. Uh, actually, I need to put it back. Lucky I realised this. Back on to normal mode. So we're going to throw pearls until we can endermite. There is, I think, a 1 in 20 chance we can endermite. So you'll probably need around 20 pearls to get one unless you get lucky or unlucky. But there's no specific amount of pearls you're going to need to do this. Just make sure it's... Yep, there we go. Okay, I got one. So you're going to want to get a name tag. Uh, I may as well just grab an anvil. Uh, you're going to want to basically name the name tag, whatever you want. Just like name it anything or just name it video for the video. Um, we're going to want to name it the endermite so it doesn't, of course, despawn. Done right there. We're going to want to put the minecart right there. Try to push it in if you can. Should go in pretty easily. If you can try to get it in, actually, I might be able to do it the easy way, just like that. Now, as you can see, it's in the middle block. You're just going to want to break all the excess blocks you've put down. Don't break the one underneath it, though, or it will, of course, fall. After you've done that, um... That's basically the end of the build. You're gonna wanna wait, we're just gonna make sure it is on. Oh, I just despawned the Enemite. Oh no, I didn't, okay. Well, uh, you can't watch while the Enemite are spawning if you're wondering why none of them are spawning when I'm watching. As I go down here, you will see. Just give it a sec. As you can see, it is working perfectly. Um, you can definitely make it more efficient if you do make it a bit bigger but uh we can grab a diamond sword just with our we'll go so actually we don't need swooping edge we can just wait so basically they're gonna come from here spawn down i know it's not very efficient right now but you do want to make uh sure that the platform is as big as you can make it this is a small one but as you can see they're spawning now they just you just have to give it a little bit of time as soon as you build it of course but now they are of course spawning in i will turn the sound effects volumes uh volume down because it's really loud um as you can see perfectly working they are all falling down you can just give them all a smack if you have sharpness it'll be a lot easier you can make it a bit higher you can definitely make it higher sorry i'll just turn the uh master volume all the way down 
if you make it a bit higher they won't be able they'll just be one shot but i didn't do that just because it's a lot easier but if you want to you can it will just cost more materials but yeah this is basically probably one of the most efficient endermen farms if unless you make the platform bigger so if you make the platform bigger it will definitely be more efficient but this is without the platform being big so as you can see it is really efficient but if you don't have a big platform it's okay it will still be good but i definitely highly recommend it's pretty much required to have it but yeah this is basically i can go into survival for you slash game mode survival now as you can see i'm actually already level 45 so i actually don't want to die here so as you can see they're all falling in as we kill them they're falling in so this is a really efficient uh xp farm that you can use and um, uh you can extend the platform a lot make it bigger make it a lot better um so yeah i'm basically going to end the video here i'm sorry i do have a block nose so it's going to sound a bit weird but i hope you did i uh, hope this video helped i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next video peace